433, see the man, 415 group, possible gang activity at 4th and Ronda Vista, two blocks north of 6, suspects are 15 male Hispanics armed with sticks and knives, code 2 incident 3120. Put that radio down. We have to respond. It's a code 433. I don't care. This is way more important right now. Call the number. There another option. This just seems so emasculating. Just call it Fagan. <sighs> Hi. You're on the air with Malila. Is there something on your heart tonight, hun? I, uh... I really don't know how to, how to start these things. This is actually my first time calling in. Why? That's okay, sweet pea. There's a first time for everything. Just save what's on your heart. Hi, Malila. I'll start. First of all, I want to say I'm just a huge fan. I've read all your books from Universal Lover to Pleasure is Passion. I've been a long-time listener. My partner and I are calling tonight because we need your help getting our spark back. Well, all right, then. Let's see if we get that spark back. Could you tell me a little bit more about yourselves? Of course. We've been together for about, I want to say, 11 years now. Wow. But has it really been that long? Wow. That's absolutely beautiful. So, how did you two meet? We met at the academy. He was always one of those brainy cadets. And I always tested well in the field, you know. So, from the beginning, we always meshed well together, balancing out each other's strengths and differences. Wow. It sounds like you guys really compliment each other. Is it safe to say this was love at first sight? Nope, not really. Our sergeant just kind of pulled two random names out of a hat and said, fuck it. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Like I always say, the universe will forever be the ultimate matchmaker. So, what makes you guys think you lost your spark? Well, just last week one of our good buddies Marshalls was shot in the line of duty. Doctors say he may never walk again, let alone work in the field. And besides his affair, Marshall was a pretty stand-up guy. No pun intended. And Malila, I know you're a very spiritual woman. And you're probably going to say something like, the universe took his legs away from him to stop him from walking out on his wife. But this was a pretty big wake-up call for me. And now I can't stop thinking. What if something like that ever happened to my Fagan? How would I ever be able to go on if I could never be with my partner again? (laughs) Wow, that is so sad. I think there's a whole bunch of hidden messages behind what you just shared with us. Is it possible that you think your Fagan's having an affair? What? No, it's not like that. We're not. Well, now that you mention it, sometimes he can be a bit unfaithful and go behind my back to Krispy Kreme, even though he knows I'm a Duncan Beach. (laughs) Yeah, me too. You know what? Let's get this Fagan's opinion on the matter. Fagan, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here, Malaya. Great. Any thoughts about what your partner just shared with us? I think he's ridiculous. Krispy Kreme is far superior to Dunkin' Donuts. My nipples are getting hot just thinking about that hot light sign. (laughs) No, sugar. Not that. About the possibility of losing you. Oh, he's just being overly dramatic. I I know what happened to Marshall. It was devastating. But it was a freak accident. But plus, he's partially to blame too. He should have never done that investigation alone without any backup. That's what I'm saying. You always love to take risks and do things all willy-nilly. I'm tired of your carelessness. What if something ever happened to you? How would I ever be able to break the news to Sarah? Just promise me. You stop thinking about yourself. <sighs> hey, I know we haven't been seeing eye to eye lately, but trust me, I ain't going anywhere. Not anytime soon. And from now on, I'll start taking your feelings into consideration more. Oh!
Oh shit! Oh shit! Help! Help! Shots fired! I need a medic! Officer Fagan down! I repeat, Officer Fagan down! <laughs> Wait, officers? Oh, you guys are policemen! Not. Oh! <laughs> Mallow!